Hi there, Kara from Karen Co. Creative here. If you're new to the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites, both Squarespace and WordPress, and all manner of online business systems, basically anything you need to run your business online. Today, we have a quick tutorial about Divi, the Divi theme, and how you can create anchor links. Those are the links that jump to different sections of a page super easily using the Divi theme. So I'm gonna take you over my shoulder and show you what I mean. All right, so here I am in a client website. And she has this page and this section that she wants to be able to jump to from other pages. So the really simple thing that we need to do here is come to the section, advanced, CSS ID. So this ID is the neat little thing that Divi has that not all themes do. So here I'm gonna call it honeycomb insulation. It's important that you remember what this is and you're not going to put a pound sign in front of this. So if you're used to making the jump links and other themes, um, or even in Squarespace, you might be used to using the pound sign. You don't use it right here, we'll use it in the link. So here, I've added that. And then now I will exit the visual builder. And we'll remember what that, um, little slug was, I'm going to copy this. This is the main page slug. And now I'm going to go to the page where she wants that to jump to from. Let's sort of look at my notes and remind where, what page it is. So honeycomb. So then on the page where you need the jump link, we're going to need to enable the visual builder again. And so here is the link that she wants to be a jump link. So you can edit from just the page, but I'm gonna open up the text box. Highlight the link. I have... Sorry, this is just because I already have a link here. I'm just gonna... You will likely have a fresh no link. So here, go to link. I'm gonna put the entire page slug. And then also here, I'm gonna add with the hound, the hound, the pound sign that, um slug that we put in the class ID, the CSS ID. So honeycomb installation. Fine. If you can keep it to one word, that's better. I just had mine be two. So I'm going to say, here we go. Check. Now we're going to save that. Exit the visual builder. And now we will test the link moment of truth. And here we go. It came to this page and it jumped right down to this section. So you can do that anywhere you have a new section. You can create a jump link. This is ideal if you have a very long page, you want people to jump to different portions, you can do it on the same page. Um, and again, you're just putting in that slug in the section. Don't need to do it at the top of a page, but it goes in this CSS ID. And you can see that's where we put it in this section right here. And then I'll have the link format in the notes below this video so that you can easily copy and paste and remember. All right, so that's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, it's always helpful for me if you go ahead and like the video and you can also subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new tutorial. All right, thanks so much, bye.